Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. A San Bernardino County Board of Supervisors would like to run a tighter ship, and with us now to tell us about uh, some of those areas that are uh, getting some attention is Neil Deary. He's a San Bernardino County Supervisor in the 3rd District. Thank Thanks you. for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, tell us what you're doing to rein in and affect uh, uh, better oversight in the county. Well, the county has a budget deficit we're dealing with. It's about $137 million over the next five years. Uh, as part of that, we're looking at all facets of government to see where we can save money. One of the issues that uh, arose very quickly was the amount of leave and vacation time that exempt employees, these are higher level employees, could accrue. Uh, we had some employees accrue up to 1,200 hours of time, wow. when they, and then when they retired, they cashed that time out. So it was a big, a significant hit to the county budget. So we've recently put a cap in place on, on for exempt employees, as the rest of our employees have. Okay, and what is the cap? It's about 480 hours of uh, vacation time, which is still high but uh, it is a significant step in the right direction. When you have a uh, thousand hours of vacation time at the end of your tenure, what effect does that have specifically on pensions and things like that? Well, it doesn't uh, apply to pensions directly. Mm -hmm. It won't, you can use a certain portion uh, to uh, about 112 hours that you mm -hmm. can cash out that will affect your pension mm -hmm. and raise it slightly. Uh, the 480 though cap is going to help us regulate time and determine how much of a deficit we actually run in that so we can manage it better mm -hmm. and be able to over the next five years figure it into our current budget because we had never accounted for it mm -hmm. and so if we had a number of retirements it was just a huge budget hit at the end of the year yeah well you could have known there was you know, this many hours down the road we're gonna right. have to pay but it's just a little easier to manage it and spread it out over time so Correct. that the, the outflow of the cash is, Correct. is but I've, even I've only been in for office for two years so yeah. we're getting to these okay um, so uh, you're also looking at ways of saving taxpayer money as far as uh, the cars the fleets the vehicles that are Correct. Uh, used to keep the county going right we've recently completed a fleet study that's been in the works for about a year and just the immediate savings by implementing some of the consolidation methods that, that are being proposed would be about a million to a million and a half dollars a year. And there's other, uh, we hope to have other policies put in place regarding take home vehicles uh, to get a handle on that, which should save another $2 million a year, I hope. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of it is just paying attention to what's going on. Uh, tell us about the Sunshine Ordinance. This sure. is something that was talked about a lot uh, going into it. It's now in effect. Tell us what it is and what effect do you expect it to have on the county? Well, the county of San Bernardino has had a policy in the past where we did not release a lot of information in a timely manner. And when we did release it, meant much of the information was redacted for reasons that really weren't legitimate. The Sunshine Ordinance fixes that. It sets very clear standards as to what will be released and the timing for it. And we're hopeful that it'll provide more open government, provide the public a better idea of what we're doing and why we're doing it, and to be more accountable to the public on how we spend taxpayer dollars. Specifically, what is some of the information that will be more easily accessible and what effect do you think that will have? Well, I think primarily it was credit card, the reuse of credit cards by the county. Uh, particularly by elected and appointed officials. Uh, there was a lot of abuse of that in the past and a lot of that information when it was released to the public on by public records request was not was redacted mm -hmm. so people couldn't tell what it was for they could just see the end bill and some of those receipts were pretty egregious and so this will help get a re rein that in hopefully make us more accountable as elected officials. These are public dollars. The public deserves to know how those dollars are spent and that's the major point behind the yeah. measure. So the hope is that if people know how they're being spent, they'll spend them a little more wisely or not even at all. That's correct. And, and with expenses in my office, my office posts them online every month. So if we have expenses, any of those expenses do go online with the receipt and with all the information verifiable by the public. All right. Neil Deary, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. More HLN next. Enter the Movies On Demand Watch to Win sweepstakes for your chance to win a trip to Pixar Animation Studios and attend the red carpet premiere of the all-new 3D comedy event, Disney Pixar's Cars 2. To enter, go to Channel 1, select Watch to Win, then watch the Register to Win video. You'll automatically be entered. The more times you watch Movies On Demand, like Disney Pixar's Toy Story 3, the more chances you have to win. No need to plan ahead. No need to go out. Order Movies On Demand from Time Warner Digital Cable.